Hi, this is Chris Reddick with Chris Reddick Financial Planning. In this blog post, I talk about how to save for retirement if you're not eligible for Social Security. So this is probably the number one question I get. Is there a way, how, how, do, you, how do you save for retirement if you're not eligible? Questions about how to get Social Security if you didn't pay into it and so forth. But this is more of a positive spin on it. So what should you actually do if you know you're not going to get Social Security? And this is typically if you're a teacher or um, you're another public service or public sector worker and you don't pay into Social Security. There's two laws in place. The first one, you, you should be familiar with both, both of these laws, is the windfall elimination provision. Okay, so what does this do? If you actually paid into Social Security and you receive a pension, so you're actually receiving a pension, your monthly benefit, there, there could be a reduction as a result of this windfall elimination provision. So it's not a huge reduction, but it could reduce your Social Security benefits on your own record. So it's your own record, okay? The second one is a government pension offset. This is different. This is your spousal or survivor's benefit, right? So this is this is the one that can really reduce your social security benefits because it reduces by two thirds of your government pension. So take two thirds of your pension and then that will reduce your social security benefits for just the spousal or survivor. So just spousal and survivor is a GPO and the windfall elimination is your own benefits. So try not to confuse both of, both of them. So if you worked and you paid into social security and you have the 40 credits, then you'll get some social security, but it might be reduced by the WEP. If you, if you work less than 30 years and paid into Social Security. Um, the, op, the other one is a government pension offset, which deals with, as I mentioned, spousal and survivor's benefits. So not your own record, it's your spouse's record. Um, it will be reduced by up to two-thirds of what your pension payout is. All right, so what are you missing out on? Well, if you... In 2023, an average Social Security benefit was about $1,800. Okay, so you're missing out on that. And then you would typically contribute 6.2% towards Social Security if you're paying into it. So what do you do? Well, take that 6.2% and then save in other retirement vehicles. And I'll talk about eight strategies for saving for retirement um, without Social Security. So this is if you're not going to get it, what do you do? First thing, you maximize your pension. So you try to work as many years as possible, get the maximum benefit, have higher salaries, and so forth, which increases your monthly benefit. So that's one thing you would want to do, is maximize your actual benefit. Second, contribute to a 403B or a 457 plan depending on if your school district or, or a state or county offers these options. So these are additional ways to save for retirement. So try to save at least 6.2% because you weren't saving into Social Security. All right, open an IRA. So you can do a traditional or a Roth IRA. So there's another option. Maximize the health savings account if you have that with a high deductible health plan. So you need both in combination. This reduces your taxes, and you can take this out in retirement for medical, or you can use it right now. Consider a brokerage account. So open a taxable brokerage account. No limit on what you contribute. Take out what you want. Uh, work part-time, freelance, hobbies, and small businesses. Work in jobs where you pay into Social Security, right, to try to get the... Uh, 40 credits and finally seek financial advice. So this is a real tough issue 
right? Um, so seek some advice. Figure out how, how the WAP and GPL applies your si situation. There's all these online calculators that you can use. So I would go with the assumption that you're not going to get much Social Security and be more proactive and start saving now knowing that it's going to be reduced or possibly eliminated. Okay, if I could be of service on Social Security and retirement, uh, please reach out on the contact page below. Have a great day.